Welcome everyone, my name is Jennifer Molesky, this is my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the gender wage gap, kind of, equality, kind of, and we're going to do it now. So the wage gap, the gender wage gap, there is a ton of evidence that shows that there really is no gender wage gap. It's all the accumulation of hours divided by income and then you get inequality, but that, there's just so many moving parts. The 77 cents on the dollar statistic is calculated by dividing the median earnings of all women working full time by the median earnings of all men working full time. In other words, if the average income of all men is say $40,000 a year, and the average annual income of all women is say $30,800, that would mean that women earn 77 cents for every dollar a man earns. 30,800 divided by 40,000 equals 0.77. But these calculations don't reveal a gender wage injustice because they don't take into account occupation, position, education, or hours worked per week. None of them break down jobs, age, background, experience, time taken off work. You have not proven any kind of gender pay gap. What you have done is push many, many misleading statistics into the public domain, and it is absolutely an attempt to box women in to this victimhood mentality that when you actually break down the data, if you look at the official data from the Office for National Statistics, does not exist. Okay, fine. I would like to humor you and say, okay, let's say that there is a gender wage gap. And then I want to discover What's the best way to tackle that wage gap? Just, I, just let's humor everyone that thinks that there is. How do we tackle it? There's two ways that I see, and I think one way is bullshit, and I think one way, my way, is the best way. I'll let you decide. So the one way that I think is bullshit to, to solve the gender wage gap, if there is one, would be to go out and scream about it really loud with other women and some men in public squares. I don't know what really comes of that. Well, to bring awareness. To who? To who? N no one in that square gives a shit. They're all just screaming together. Okay, so this is obviously the way that I don't believe in. And then there's my way. So instead of saying, all men have it better than all women. We can't do that, right? For fairness. I am a self-responsibilitist. You can't do that. You have to go, okay, me, 100% me. So you, you compare yourself to the person at work that makes more money that you think you should be making just as much as. What? So in these protests, uh, when, when interviewed about what the solution is, a lot of women will... <laughs> do that and say, well, how about men and women just make the same amount of money for the same job? Okay. It's that easy. It's that easy. So let's say it's that easy. I'm Hopefully someone that thinks this is, is going to watch this and fucking hate me, but that's all right. I'd like to get your opinion. I also like some people that think like me to comment. So please comment. So to the sputterer, <laughs> this person, I have a question. I have two. I have two questions. Have you ever worked and witnessed two, five, 20 people with the same job title doing a different quality type of work? Or have you ever worked with someone who held the same job title as you, but you thought did a far work? If everyone is equal for the same job, you would have to say that everyone is performing at the same level. Okay. And if that's not true, I mean, I don't know what to say. If that's not true, then your whole your whole point is gone. If it is true, I, I want to know this company. That's amazing. So when the day finally comes where you look around and go, yeah, I'm doing a better job than these people, then a big decision comes in and you have to ask for a raise. Typically, you go home to your partner, your friends, or your family, and you say, you know what? I think I should be earning more money. And then the conversation ensues well, how much more? Why do you think you should be making more? Do you have any way that you can showcase your work? So then you build this case. Then you have to think, okay, the, the person that I'm asking this raise for might say no, and then what? 
you either stay at that place that says, no, I don't think you're worth that. And that's kind of a hit to the ego. And also you're probably mad at that point. You have to come up with a contingency plan. So that probably means you have to go and look for another job, maybe even interview for it. So you have this backup plan, or maybe they offer you so much more money and now you're catapulted into the kind of income that you think you deserve. All right. So, but now you have this ace in the hole or not. You've decided it's it's choice. It's a big goddamn decision. So then you go and you have to schedule an appointment to talk to the manager or the owner and you present your case. And let's say that you're asking for $3 more an hour. No, you're asking for $1 more an hour. Why? Because I suck at math. Okay. So $1 more per hour. You have nine other people in your department that are, that hold the same job title. Your employer agrees that you are doing a good job, but equality. So now what? Now, if, if, if it's just, (laughs) just pay everyone the same amount of money, then the employer would have to say, yes, yes, you, you are doing a good job, but there's nine other people in this department. So instead of giving you that dollar raise, what we're going to do is give everyone a 10 cent raise even the people who are not doing as good of a job as you, or the people who didn't have an intense conversation with their friends, lover, or family to decide how much money do I ask for? Am I really that more valuable? What am I going to do if they say no? All the things that you went through, through that make you deserve that raise more than the nine people who didn't are going to get that money. On the other hand, Wouldn't it be nice if whenever somebody asks for a raise, you got a knock on your office door that said, hey, guess what? Someone else had the balls to ask for a raise, so you're going to get more money. And I'm sure you'd like that because that's kind of a selfish way of being. And that's how people are. When they're not fully 100% self-responsible, people tend to be more selfish. They're looking at other people for their income, their happiness, their wealth, their, their, their everything. Don't do that. It's not good. Now, the the follow-up, the final question that I have is, What's the better way? Is it screaming with other people to the air? And it's really the air and to each other because there's plenty of people who do interviews and they're like, well, what what can we do to solve the problem? Or what does your sign mean? And they just scurry away because they don't really know. So they have a platform, but they don't want to use it. So they're just screaming at each other. Okay. So is that more powerful than my recommendation? where take a long, hard look in the mirror and say, am I really worth this much more money? Because sometimes the answer is no. You can get there, but you're not there. And sometimes the answer is yes. And if the answer is yes, then am I the evil one for thinking that you are 100% responsible for your income? Not the world, not fellow protesters, not white men, you. Well, that's it. Thank you for being involved in my thought experiment. I'd love to know what you think on the matter. So if you want to leave a comment below, that'll be grand. And I'd like to see you again. So you know what that means? All you have to do is press subscribe (laughs) and then the notification bell, and then we can hang out all the time or as much as you want. Hey, I'm not going to pressure you. 